Okay, so my last video, uh, explosive diarrhea stories, was uh, an explosive hit to a lot of you. So, um, and I, I've been getting requests for more poop stories. So here's a really uh, funny and disgusting poop story. So. Uh, I used to joust on horseback with a group of guys, and we used to travel all over the western United States. Um, full, con full contact jousting, full suits of armor, and heavy solid pine lances and stuff like that. And uh, a big part of our uh, summer was going up and down Interstate 5, Highway 5. That's goes down from Southern California all the way up to Washington State, I think. For, yeah. And um, so that was a major road that we used to take whenever we'd go to shows in Oregon and, um, and in Northern California. And I don't know if we were going to a show or coming back from a show. This I, I'm, I'm confused on. I don't remember. Um, our brother Steve would know exactly... Uh, the, the, the particulars in that. So, uh, anyway, we stopped at a, at a, uh, big shopping center. We had to pick up some stuff and, uh, get gas, check on the horses, stuff like that. And so my brother and I, we had to use the restroom and we went into a Target, uh, store and, um, we went in there, and uh, I think Steve had to take a crap. I had to pee. I remember taking a leak. And Steve opened up a stall door and freaked out. He said, oh, my God. And I'm like, and, and I, I didn't look. I was just doing my business, and I just kind of leaned over. And I'm like, oh, it's that bad, huh? And he said, I'll never forget the tone. He said, you got to come see this. And I knew it was like some kind of incredible, disgusting shit. And I was like, no, dude. I don't want to see somebody else's shit. I'm not a big fan of looking at my own shit. And he, and he said, no, you get over here right now. You have to see this. You are not going to believe it. You have to see it. And he practically dragged me over there and uh, hit... <laughs> <laughs> the door kind of closed again and with his hand he kind of slowly like crept it open like in a fucking horror movie you know and I looked I didn't even have to get into like like look down and see what it was it's very painfully obvious uh, from the door frame what had happened in there and I hope the guy that left that shit there went to a fucking hospital or something because what we saw was a log. Um, it was the exact... I mean, I didn't have a tape measure or anything like that. But it looked exactly the same size, length, girth, circumference of a Pringles can. Maybe a bit bigger. And it was such a big shit that it was stuck in the toilet. And... We tried flushing it, and that toilet could, it wouldn't it wouldn't go down the, the the bowl, and it was so long that it was kind of like uh, breaching, you know, the level of uh, the toilet seat lid, you know. So it was it looked like a, like an island, you know, like sticking out, like you know, something like that. But it was it it, it was a fucking Pringles can of shit. It was that massive. It was that massive. And that toilet, you know, you'd have to, I, God, my, uh, the janitor, whoever, you guys that work in these fucking stores like Target and Walmarts and stuff like that, and you, it's your job to clean that bathroom, casinos, fuck. God bless you. Uh, seriously, like you need, you need some kind of like hazmat, hazard pay or fucking something like that from dealing with bathrooms and shit and stuff like that because I know I left my mark unintentionally in bathrooms across this great nation of ours and even abroad I took a shit at the Sydney Opera House I wanted to go in and check it out but 
cost money. And uh, I just asked where the bathroom was. And it was a pretty cool bathroom. I didn't kill it or anything. But um, I took shit there. So, anyway. So that's uh, that's a shit story. I got more shit stories. And we're building up to, uh, to the big ones. The good ones. Um, post your shit stories in the comments or something. I gotta work out some kind of thing where I could take calls. Something like that. But this is just me fucking around trying to take my mind off the bullshit that's going on in America right now and just trying to have some fun. Dick and fart jokes. All that good stuff. So, anyway. Alright guys. 